pre-bronze samba natural basic. So it looks like this. You're going one, uh, two, three, half, uh, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. Reverse angle. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. So natural basic, how to do it. So basically you take in a step forward with the right leg. Then as you close your leg, you have a here partal weight change with a little bit hip action, hip circle. From here, you're going back with your left leg and you have exactly the same action with the part weight change and a hip circle on the other side. So right leg going forward, then you have circle, left leg going back, then you have circle. So this is a number one movement when you learn Samba at the pre-bronze level, which is the most, most, most uh, early level when you start learning to dance. So this will be the first step you will learn. And this step is extremely important because it teaches you two things, how to travel forward and back and how to produce rhythm in a stationary positions. So what are the timing of it. So the timing, you're going forward, count one, and then as you're closing, you have a two. Then you're going back three, you have here a four. So you have one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. And as you know, we count samba, a one, a two, a three, a four, till the eight, and you will step on count which is one, and then you will have that replacing action on count A, ah, and then you will land on count two, and the same repeats. One, it's a step A, ah, is that replacing action where you don't put your heel down, and you have that just a little bit hip action, and then you land back on another number. So what is the footwork for this? When you're learning something, footwork will be the key for you. So as I remind you, we have flat position, we have a ball of the foot, we have a toe. So as we start our natural basic for Samba, we have a ball heel position. So as we move, of course you have like a little bit of a toe, but let's call it ball heel. So most important for us that landing, ball heel. So you have ball, or let's, let's call it toe, because as you know, when we move our foot, you wanna move your foot in a toe, then you wanna have a ball of the foot, and then only heel. You would never go from the heel. So let's call this here, let's say toe, ball, heel. Then we have on our left leg only ball of the foot, ball, ball, and then on the right foot we have a ball, heel. Now as we're going backward, it's also gonna be toe, ball, heel. Now here when we close leg, it's gonna have a ball of the foot only, ball, ball heel so we have toe ball heel ball 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 heel toe ball heel ball 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 heel and as you're going backward it's also very important that you guys you travel your foot with the toe and then it gradually lands to the ball of the foot then heel so it's very important the traveling of the foot footwork now the next one is a knee action what are the knee action you have here you have a bend knee straight, then front leg goes bent. Then from here, two knee bends. Then from here, you're gonna have a little bit feeling of the straightening knee, but it's not gonna completely straight. So a little bit the feeling of bouncing, rebouncing knees. Now from here, as you're going back, you have a straight into the soft knee, and then you collect legs to the soft legs, and here a little bit like a playing with your knees. Don't straight right away, but it goes kind of straight into the soft again. Now, what about other secrets we have? So in general, like my uh, favorite thing is divide this movement into two things. It's how you take in a step and how you dancing in place. So every time in Samba you going into step, you wanna have a sense of ripple as you're moving. So you ripple into the step. What does it mean ripple? You have a knees, pelvis, tummy, chest. So ripple. And here you have a hip circle. So using your tummy and circling your hip like a hula hoop circle. And the same on the back. You want to have a little bit rippling effect 
and then a hip, have a hip circle. So ripple into hip circle, ripple into hip circle. So this is ideas for your natural basic, pre bronze level and samba. And if you'd like to learn more, a lot of details, drills and exercises, please join my program, dancephysolic.com. We have a full courses there to learn how to dance. And see you at the next lesson.